Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the one signal. Today we are going to learn how to generate or find one signal app ID in one signal account. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we have to click on the get started now. So you have to paste it or you can just go with the Google account. So I'm going to go with the Google account. Okay. So just go with this one. Continue. So zero month, we will start with this one. Okay. So here we have the welcome to one signal. Let's create the first name. Last name. Okay, select the category or uh, developer and do uh, what primary use of the one signal select all what channels plan your signal you for that is push notifications phone number that will continue okay so company organization I will put the test website no don't have the website select the industry e-commerce and sample sizes one to nine continue so let's welcome to the one signal let's go to the account and the api keys so password let me add the password over here so submit this Something went wrong while changing the password. Password has previously appeared in the data breach and should never be used. Please pick another password. So here we will add some another password. Submit. So count updated successfully. Okay, so two steps of verification, you don't have the keys, right? So, REST APS can be found and the keys on the IDs page. Okay, so here we go. Here you can see that the use auth key, auth key is there, right? So here we need the app ID also. So this is different thing. This is the REST APS, right? So REST APIs can be found on the ID space each of this one apps. So new app on the website. So here you can see we have to go with the, if you want to go with the app ID, then you have to select the one signal app name that is test organization test Google FCM. Next configure your platform. So here, you have to service account JSON file you need to put it over here when you receive the notification for the you can say about the Android right? So because conflicting the uh, Android part right so when you try to upload this one from the Firebase I think I have already Firebase console so let's try to log in this to console here you can see we have let's go to the project settings okay service accounts this loading so here generate new private key generate so it will download the JSON file okay so let's pick it up from here so here let's go and just choose the file recent this one just upload this okay save and continue Save and continue. Something missed. Please check the SD key. 
that is for the react native so here you can see that you get the um, app id right so here you can see that just just copy this for the future reference and paste it somewhere else okay and uh, done okay so here you can see that it is uh, this is done and if I uh, another thing that we have the auth key right set up the massive channels unify the users this is different one welcome back to the still complete later okay so now you are able to get the app ID and another thing that we have to get into it that is go to the set account and APIs and the next one that we are using it that is the auth key okay so this is how you can also get this auth key generate the new auth key you can generate and copy and use it okay so this is how you will get the app id and the auth key any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day